Victoria Thurman Hall, and today on Hair Busters, we're gonna do something that you professionals probably cringed when you saw, but it's all over the internet, and that is a flat iron on wet hair. And we're gonna say approval or busted. Before we get into using a flat iron on wet hair, let's take a look and examine healthy hair. In my hands, I have healthy hair and I have a microscope. Come on in, we're gonna take a look and see if we can find some healthy cuticle. All right, I'm gonna move this around, but on all of the strands that you see, you can see beautiful iridescence, you can see the cortex, you can see a healthy cuticle laying very smooth and flat onto the hair. Everywhere I go, great condition hair. So porosity, condition, all phenomenal. Okay, so if this is healthy, and this is wet hair and a flat iron going on it, let's see what happens. Oh, listen to that sizzle. I wonder what it's gonna look like underneath a microscope. I know you're looking forward to seeing underneath a microscope what happens when you have wet hair and a flat iron. But before we do that, I wanted to show you color treated hair and what can happen with the color prior to looking at the microscope. I've wet a small section and I'm actually gonna flat iron it, but I wanna talk a little bit about the reasons why people think it's okay to do it. They think it might be a time saver. The hair's flattened and dried all in one shot. Well, when we keep going through this, you can already see there's a dramatic color change as I'm running my flat iron through. So. As I'm going through it, is it really saving me time if my color's going, oh, there's a nice spot. Um, if the color's going down the drain or out in the air and the quality of the hair, we'll see underneath the microscope. But it's not a time saver, guys, to have flat hair and damaged hair. It's time to look underneath the microscope to see what we've got. All right, so what I'm gonna show you right now is part of a cortex cell that has come out of the hair itself. As you know, the cuticle's job is to protect what's on the inside. It can't very well do that if the cortex is now hanging out outside of the cuticle. I just found a beautiful singed area where the cuticle is puffed up. And not only is it puffed up and singed, but the cortex cell is popped right out of the hair itself. So instead of the cuticle doing its job and protecting the cortex, the cortex is on the outside and the cuticle's on the inside. Ugh, this is not good. And we know this one is busted, guys. I'm not even gonna go into it. We know, we saw the damage. It's not even worth no doing it onto hair. And I have to tell you, the entire room that is around me right now, there's six other people in the room, we're all holding our noses and gagging because the smell is absolutely horrific. I know you know what the smell is, so just imagine that's what we're all dealing with. And we only did it a few times. Your customers are doing it home a lot of times. So that was just one image that you're, the images that you were seeing, that was just one time of wet and a flat iron. So how can you help your clients with preventing it? Blow dry the hair first. Take and use heat protection. Make sure that they're using a good flat iron. Guys, GHD Science is amazing for helping protect color as well as the integrity of the hair. If they want flat, if they want straight, why not guide them to a perfect tool? So for me guys, Make sure that they're using the right tools and you're using the right tools.